Hey entrepreneurs, it's Sam Day here from Day Tips and in this video, I'm speaking about how you can create profitable Facebook ads for your Squarespace website. Now I'm going to go through some of the basics in this video and I have done some other tutorials on Squarespace and Facebook ads and I'll leave those in the description down below and I will be doing some further videos on this as well because Facebook ads can be quite intricate and there's a lot of stuff that you can do and make use of and so I will be following this video up with some further tutorials on how to construct Facebook ads for your Squarespace website. So do make sure you stay subscribed to this channel and click that bell notification button as well so you never miss a video that could help you to boost your online sales. But Facebook ads are super important. They are a great way to connect with potential customers and also to bring customers who have visited your website in the past back and one of the best ways to do this is by using the Facebook pixel so that Facebook can have a better idea about what's going on on your website to help you to optimize your future Facebook campaigns. So that's the first thing we're going to do is actually make sure that our Facebook pixel is connected to our Squarespace website. So as you can see, I'm on my Squarespace website at the moment. This is a dummy website I'm using for the purposes of this video but you want to go into your Facebook account and go into your ads manager and you want to find where it says events manager. So this bit is pretty simple and you want to find where it says add events and click the download button. And you, if you click on from a new website, then you can install the code manually. You can copy that code, go back over to Squarespace, go into settings, and then you want to find advanced settings and if you find code injection, then you can enter the Facebook pixel into the header code just like that and you can save those changes. Also, it's a good idea for you to install the Facebook pixel helper, which is a Chrome extension. And basically the Facebook pixel helper will allow you to determine whether or not the Facebook pixel has been successfully installed on your site. As you can see, this is a landing page where I have the Facebook pixel installed and this is the Facebook pixel helper and it has this number one here which means it can detect the Facebook pixel and if you click on that it will give you more details about the pixel that it has actually found and discovered on your website. So utilizing the Facebook pixel helper is just a great way for you to identify that yes, you have successfully installed the Facebook pixel and everything is working and you should see the correct data within your Facebook analytics. So now that you've got the Facebook pixel installed, you now wanna to go to pages and figure out what page you actually want to promote using Facebook ads. Now this is a mistake that I see a lot of Squarespace website users make is that they're just trying to send traffic directly to their home page. You want to structure your Facebook ads in a way so that it has some sort of sales funnel process. I've done so many videos of sales funnels in the past and it's really important when you're running Facebook ads to understand how to create your sales funnel within Squarespace and I will be doing more videos on this topic in, in future. But in this video specifically, I'm going to create a page where people can actually sign up to my email list. So this is important because if you are promoting some sort of service or some sort of product on your Squarespace website, people might not buy the very first time they see your offer. So if you have their email address, it's a way to reach out to them uh, in, in, in future so that potentially you can bring them back to your site. But also with Facebook ads, you can do email remarketing as well, whereby you can upload your email list to Facebook and you can retarget and reach people with ads that have previously signed up to your email database. So it's a great way to do remarketing and this type of uh, remarketing can prove really effective um, in terms of you know re-engaging and getting past customers back and getting leads to purchase from you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a page and I'm gonna to go to page layouts here. And I can actually choose one of these contact pages just as a simple uh, opt-in page that I can actually utilize. So let's say for example, uh, I'm, I'm offering some sort of services as a consultant and I want to use my Squarespace site uh, to promote on Facebook. Um, then I might use this contact page and I can edit this page. And potentially, let's say I'm giving away a 10 minute free call uh, I might put here, speak to me for 10 minutes free. And I can change the image, um, a little newsletter here. 
and I can actually edit this um, to my needs. So now I've got my picture, I've got what people are getting for free, speak to me for 10 minutes. And instead of it saying subscribe here, I can change this to say, leave your details to book your free call. So it's giving people an incentive to leave their name and email address. And you can decide to require a name field. I like to require a name field um, just so that when you're sending your emails, you can personalize them a little bit. And also you can choose your storage settings as well. So you can choose what list within Squarespace. So Squarespace give you the opportunity to manage an email list within Squarespace itself. But also you can choose to connect other services as well, such as MailChimp, Zapier and Google Drive. And you can go up here to where it says post submission as well. And you can add your destination URL. So if you wanted people to enter their name and email address and then go straight to a booking form, maybe they can uh, book you for your premium services or maybe you send them straight to your product pages. You can enter that URL in here. Now, I recommend that you, you send people to a designated landing page specific for your Facebook ads. And the reason why I say that is because you can actually track this URL. So whatever URL people will land on once they successfully submit their name and email address, um, which is the URL you will put here, you can actually go to Facebook. You can go into all tools and you can go into events manager and then you can go to create and you can create a uh, custom conversion and you can name this conversions. So this might be uh, consulting call leads and all traffic that visits this URL that wherever the URL is that people will land on once they successfully enter their name and email address, join your list and take you up on your free offer. Um, whatever URL they land on, you paste that in here. So that means Facebook will be able to tell you how many people went from your Facebook ad and how many people actually signed up. So you can see what your conversion rates are. And that's a really great way to help you to actually create uh, effective campaigns that actually convert. Now, when you do this, uh, you can set your campaigns up as a conversion campaign. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to all tools and ads manager. And when you go to create a new campaign, it will ask you what campaign objective would you like? So if you choose conversion campaigns, uh, because you have set up that custom conversion and, and you've told Facebook, look, when someone lands on this URL, that means they've entered their name and email address in order for them to land on that page. Then what Facebook will do is when you set up a conversion campaign, is once they're seeing that people are actually signing up via the Facebook ads that you've created, they will actually send more people to your landing page who are likely to convert. Because one thing you have to remember is that Facebook is a huge network. You know, you can be promoted on Facebook stories, on the Facebook news feed, on Instagram stories and the Instagram news feed uh, and so on and so forth. And so what Facebook will do is if they notice that a lot of your conversions are coming from Instagram stories, for example, um, they can tell this because you've set up your custom conversions. And so they will show your ad more on the Instagram stories. And for example, if they're noticing that maybe males in their 20s are converting higher than females, then uh, they will show your ad more to that specific demographic that seems to be converting. So if you want your campaign to really work well for you, then I highly recommend you set up these custom conversions as well. You can set up a custom conversion as well for your products. So if I just go back into uh, events manager and go back into create and custom conversions, just to show you here, uh, one of the options is the URL contains. So if you are selling products and you're driving people directly to your products, so you don't have to have an opt-in page where someone leaves their name and email address and goes to your email list, you could be driving traffic directly to your products pages. And I will be doing videos on that in the future. However, if you are sending people to a product page, then the URL that people land on might be slightly different. There might be some numbers in the URL and these numbers will be different based on the customer number that Squarespace gives that particular customer. If you're promoting a product on your website or products on your site, then people will land on different 
URLs, the URL that people land on will be different. And this is where you will use the contains uh, aspect here uh, rather than using an equals. So for example, you might actually have um, a website where you're selling a product and your first ever customer buys from you and they went, once they make a purchase, they land on a URL that is something along the lines of yoursite.com forward slash customer one. And that number one is unique to that customer because they are your first customer. And then you, you might have a second customer, they purchase, and when they purchase, they go to the same page, but the URL says yoursite.com forward slash customer two. Now again, the customer two part is specific to them because uh, you know they're your second customer. So you will notice that when someone makes a purchase on your website, Squarespace will give them numbers based on the customer number. It will be a lot longer than one or two, but I've just used one and two here as a simple example. So if people will land on a different URL depending on their customer number, then the URL just needs to contain, for example, www. and this will be your website.com forward slash customer and then whatever comes after the customer is okay but as long as the url contains that then facebook will know okay that person purchased that person is a conversion now if all of your customers or all of your leads land on the exact same page then you can change it from contains to equals and then anyone who lands on a page that equals this exactly Facebook will include that as a conversion. Now I will be doing future videos on custom conversions and how to set them up and also how to create custom audiences as well. But I want to go back into Squarespace and show you how you can actually set up some of your email campaigns as well, um, particularly if you're going to be using Facebook ads as a way to drive new leads into your business. So what you want to do is once you've finished with your landing page, you can save those changes and you can go into where it says marketing and you can manage your email campaigns. So the first thing you want to make sure you do is work on your welcome email. So when someone comes to your page from Facebook ads and they sign up, they leave their name and their email address, they go to your designated landing page, but you also want to send them an, a welcome email and that welcome email might contain a link that brings them back to the sales page just in case they don't buy when they land on the sales page and it gives them instructions on what they can do next or you can also add an attachment there as well if you've promised some sort of giveaway or if you've promised a free call or whatever it is you've promised them on your opt-in page you can deliver on the welcome email so if you go to create you can choose to create an automation and this will be whatever into automation you want so it can be a welcome email so in this case we want to create the welcome email and you can view all of the templates here. You can choose one and then you want to make it your own. Editing it is fairly simple. You just hover over it and it gives you the options to edit and you can activate this automation. And the automation is after subscription to the mailing list and you can choose which mailing list as well that you want this uh, automation to be sent Two. So at the moment, I've only got one mailing list available here, um, but it might be a good idea for you to create uh, multiple mailing lists. And you do that by going here to mailing lists and you can add a mailing list and you can name that maybe your Facebook ads mailing list and you can save that. So this kind of just helps you to separate the leads that came from Facebook to the leads that came maybe organically to your website. So I really do hope that this video helped you with some of your Facebook ads and your Squarespace website. Like I said, I will be doing a lot more tutorials on Squarespace and Facebook ads and other elements on, of how you can promote and market your website. So make sure you do stay subscribed to this YouTube channel. I also have the formula guys. This is the free guide to generating leads and sales online for your business. As you can see, there's a copy next to me. I will also leave a copy somewhere on this screen and in the description down below. That's the free guide to generating leads and sales online for your business. So if you wanna push your business forward, learn about Facebook ads, Google ads, how to rank your website in Google, then I highly recommend you downloading that. It's absolutely free. But I really do hope that this video did bring you value. And if it did, then please click the like button down below and make sure you share this video 
video with a friend. If you have any additional questions or comments, then leave them for me in the comment section. But until next time, watch some of my other great videos. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more awesome business related content. Have a great day. Make sure you download the formula and I will see you soon.